Thank you for joining us today. You guys are on the tail end of indoor season. How are you feeling about this group so far? I think last week we, we started really coming around and getting healthier and uh, had some good performances last week. So I think we're trending in the right direction. We just got to continue to stay healthy and uh, train as much as we can and get ready for this weekend and obviously the big conference meet here in a couple of weeks. Your athletes are consistently breaking records, recording personal bests, ranking among some of the top in the nation. What is the driving force to that success? Well, I think we've got a lot of support here. And we've got the facilities and resources to give to these student athletes to make them the best they can be. And I think that uh, this year we've just got a lot of talented student athletes and uh, I think we've had that in the past and I think they're just producing at a high level and they're always uh, ready for the opportunity they have at big meets and I think that's been the big key for us is just getting to those big meets and performing at a high level. Who has really stood out to you this season? Well I think our distance team has really stood out to me. Um, Coach Daniel, Coach Dwyer have done a great job with them and they put up some amazing performances in Boston um, and I think they're doing a tremendous job Great cross country season. I just think that uh, with William and Panza, Florence, Lua Geneza, Eleonora Katabi, just we've got a lot of talent there and they just produced tremendously. I'm really proud of them. And I think we've had a couple throwers really step up Meadow Galentine and uh, Luke Holcomb. Um, really done a good, great job. Coach Dillon's done a great job with them. And then I think sprints, jumps, we're coming around. We've been able to get outside and train a little bit. Mm -hmm. Weather's been a little better. And I think you're going to start to see our performances continue to step up there as we get through the next couple of weeks. Not only do you work with elite athletes, but these athletes are some of the best individuals off the track and field. What is the best part about getting to coach and work with them? Well, I think the best part about it is to, to see them leave here and do something great. And I think we've got a lot of athletes that leave here and then they're successful in their careers and you hear from them and you're just so proud of them. And you've seen them grow throughout their time here. And then after they leave here, they, they're successful, whatever they choose to do. And I think that's the biggest, biggest victory we have as coaches. And I think that uh, we've produced a lot of great student athletes here at WT, but they've done even greater things when they've left here. You had a pretty remarkable career yourself at Texas Tech. You were an All-American. You received all Big 12 honors. You were part of the 2005 Big 12 Outdoor Championship team. Do you have a memory that sticks with you even after all these years competing as a Red Raider? Well, I think uh, obviously that Big 12 championship was huge because it was the first one uh, that we that we won there. Um, and now the track program there is just ridiculous. So to be kind of that first group that got that going is special. And then obviously those relationships you have with those teammates there. And I still see a lot of those guys. And I'm very proud to be a part of that team. Very proud to be a part of um, all those teams we had at Texas Tech. But uh, some great memories there. And then obviously we go there a lot. And my coach is still there, Coach Kitley. So. It's always great to see there, see him and, and, and get back on campus. Do you get nostalgia, a feeling of nostalgia when you walk back on campus? I get more of a feeling of jealousy because I've got all those <laughs> uh, uh, facilities, new indoor. I mean, it's just awesome to see everything um, that they're doing at Texas Tech. And then obviously with the football stadium now and just seeing how much the campus has grown and um, the athletics has grown. And then, like I said, the track team is just outstanding. Number one in the nation on the men's side, number five on the women's. So. Just seeing that success there is pretty cool uh, for Coach Kitley and, and their staff. Now, your wife, I read, is an All-American as well. Did she graduate from Texas Tech? She graduated so she, from here. She graduated from here. So, she, so Sarah was an outstanding runner here. Um, great curve runner. Great four by one leg. Um, what, was a great 100 and 200 runner as well. So a graduate from here, getting her master's here right now. Awesome. Um, and then, um, you know, she was one of our, one of our best runners that we've had here. So or does that mean you guys are training the kiddos to be tracksters We're as well? We're kind of gymnastics and ballet right now and okay. soccer, but uh, we've run a few track meets, so yeah. I think we may have some talent there. We'll see. Nice. But, uh, I think that uh, we'll, we'll let them do what they want to do, what they're happy with, but uh, 
we're kind of trying a lot of different things out yeah, right now. That's so. good. Good. I like it. Well, as postseason approaches, like I mentioned earlier, what is the expectation for this team? Well, the expectation is the same as it always is every year. We just want to put forth the best effort we can, execute to the best of our ability, and we want to have fun. We don't try to put too much pressure on you know, where we're going to end up or what the team score is going to be. We can only control what we do. And mm -hmm. We don't uh, worry about anybody else. We just focus on preparing the best we can. And I think that uh, this weekend at Kansas State will be a big weekend for our sprinters. And then obviously the conference meet is going to be huge and, and hopefully getting some marks there. We just want to get as many people to the national meet as possible. And then at Pitt State, we're all in the same playing field and see what happens. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to it. Let's cheers to an awesome postseason and an outdoor season, Thank some you. refreshing water and hydrating. I, a little birdie told me that you always tell your athletes to hydrate all, all the time. time. All hydrate, the time. hydrate. All the time. Cool. Thank you.